take a look at this sailboat in the boatyard for wintertime storage and then for splashing in the spring. A couple of things I would like to point out. See that deep keel underneath the boat? And look at the outboard motor. So you would think that the deeper boat and the deeper keel would help protect the propeller on the outboard motor, prevent you from grounding and damaging the propeller on the outboard. So look at how deep that is. I'm going to assume maybe four feet underwater, four foot draft. And then looking at the back, you can see the rudder over here, also about the same four foot draft. And then you can look at the anti-cavitation plate on the outboard motor is the same as the water line on the boat itself. And then you've got this device where you can actually drop the outboard motor. It will swing down and go deeper. The propeller will go deeper in the water. But still the propeller would be protected by the rudder and the keel. So here's the confusing part. See where the propeller is bent right here? Bent, bent, bent a little bit. This is the first one again, bent a whole lot. So you have to wonder, how did they bend the propeller with all of that protection in front? The answer is very simple. If you look at the angle of the bend, the boat was going backwards when they hit something. So it seems as if they backed into very shallow water and bent the propeller. As a side note, look at this. This is the depth gauge transducer that's bolted onto the back of the boat and sends a depth gauge signal down. And looking at the entire boat, I'm assuming this is about 25 feet. So your depth gauge is about 25 feet too late to tell you how deep the water is. That's a simple economical installation, but it would be better if it were put up at least where the keel was or forward of the keel to give you true water depth if you're idling around trying to anchor. If you want to learn more about boatyard maintenance, do it yourself service on your boat, power boats mostly. Just remember to ask Captain Chris.